Elon Musk recently responded to criticism of how he uses his money by noting that there are some interesting ideas for possible future projects, including the purchase of a media network. And now, observers are keen to say that the Tesla honcho wants to add television network ABC to his list of businesses. The world's richest man remains active on social media, responding to messages and memes on a whim while posting his own. His responses sometimes get him into trouble, such as when his tweet about possibly taking Tesla private amounted to securities fraud. Author and filmmaker Dinesh D'Souza tweeted at Musk to talk about the kind of change he could affect, including the political and cultural landscape. Buy and take over a major social media platform, D'Souza tweeted. Acquire or create a TV network like ABC, NBC, or CBS3. He also suggested creating a world-class online university with no tuition. Musk picked this tweet and responded, Interesting ideas. The SpaceX founder has already affected a major change in the world through his investments and developments through Tesla and SpaceX. Still, any one of DeSouza's suggestions could provide a greater cultural influence. And Musk's recent moves for his companies would suggest that a venture into one of these areas could take a more conservative slant. He moved Tesla corporate headquarters to Texas and moved to Texas himself shortly after that. Any one of DeSouza's three options would present a sizable challenge for Musk, but he has not shied away from difficult tasks. He famously won a bet that he could build the world's largest lithium-ion battery within 100 days to help blackout plagued South Australia. This is not the first time the eccentric billionaire has hinted at acquiring a media outlet. In 2018, he tweeted the same, the holier-than-thou hypocrisy of big media companies who lay claim to the truth but publish only enough to sugarcoat the lie is why the public no longer respects them. Musk posted along with a link to a news story discussing negative media coverage of the electric car company Tesla. He then wrote a series of tweets lamenting the state of journalism and vowing to do something about it. Problem is, he said, journos are under constant pressure to get max clicks and earn advertising dollars or get fired. Tricky situation as Tesla doesn't advertise, but fossil fuel companies and gas slash diesel car companies are among the world's biggest advertisers. Musk said he plans to start up a new website for the public to rate the core truth of any article that would also track credibility scores for journalists, editors, and publications. He said he might call it Pravda, which was the name of the former Soviet Union Communist Party newspaper. Pravda means truth in Russian. Even if some of the public don't care about the credibility score, the journalists, editors, and publications will. It is how they define themselves, Musk said. He then created a Twitter poll asking readers if they would be in support of that or not. By the time the poll closed, it had received more than 680,000 votes, with 88% of voters saying they would support Musk's proposal. The father of six urged the media to promote the poll if they didn't want Pravda to exist, then tweeted again saying he may call the site You're Right instead. Musk does own the domain You'reRight.com, he added, but all it does now is point to Facebook news. For some reason, this is the best I've felt in a while. Hope you're feeling good too, Musk added. But as the Wall Street Journal pointed out, Musk is famous for making proclamations that may not necessarily be serious. For example, in recent posts, he claimed that Tesla was going bankrupt, that he was going to start a candy company, and that he would start a new company to drill tunnels to avoid traffic. That last one may not have been a joke. Musk eventually started a new tunneling organization called The Boring Co., which aims to build an underground Hyperloop transportation system. Musk's comments on the media industry naturally attracted attention on Twitter from everybody, from journalists to Donald Trump Jr., the son of former US President Donald Trump. One journalist retweeted Mr. Musk's comments with a link to a California filing for a business incorporated in October 2017 called Pravda Corp, involving a person connected with other Musk ventures. Uh, he's not kidding, wrote journalist Mark Harris. Mr. Musk replied with a hugging face emoji. If Musk were to dive into the media industry, he wouldn't be a total stranger there. He has had a fair share of drama in that space, as well as productive engagements. Musk, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX and founder of The Boring Company and Neuralink, was last year nominated to join the board at Endeavor Group Holdings, according to a filing by the company. Endeavor began as a talent agency started by one of Hollywood's most recognizable agents, Ari Emanuel. Through a series of mergers and acquisitions, the company has become a media and entertainment conglomerate that owns and manages live events, including UFC, the Miami Open, New York Fashion Week, Freeze Art Fairs, and the Miss Universe International Beauty Pageant. Now, Endeavor is planning to go public and wants Musk, one of the world's richest people, as one of its 11 directors. Mr. Musk was selected to serve on our board of directors because of his professional background and experience running a public company. He has previously held senior executive level positions, his service on other public company boards, and his experience starting, growing, and integrating businesses, Endeavor said in its IPO filing. 
Musk, who still has to be elected to the board, is allowed to serve as a director for a public company despite a settlement with the SEC that caused him to step down as Tesla's chairman and pay a fine in 2018. That punishment stems from a Musk tweet that said he was considering taking Tesla private. The Emmanuel family has a history of working with Musk. Ari Emanuel was an early proponent of Tesla, putting down a reservation for the company's first production vehicle, the original Roadster. His siblings include Chicago's 55th mayor, Rahm Emanuel, whose administration gave a big contract to Musk's The Boring Company in 2018. Musk has also been a popular guest on comedian Joe Rogan's podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, appearing as recently as February 2021. Rogan is a UFC fan and has worked for the organization as a broadcaster. He is also represented by Endeavor. Former President Donald Trump and Emmanuel are longtime associates. Trump was once a William Morris Endeavor client, and Endeavor purchased the Miss Universe pageant from him in 2015. The company also owns the WME Talent Agency, which represents athletes, actors, and other celebrities. Described by others as a control freak who is sometimes short-tempered, Musk's entry into the media industry will entirely change its landscape. In the recent past, the investor has lashed out at the media for focusing relentlessly on bad news, saying it doesn't accurately represent reality. Musk took to Twitter to criticize traditional media for pumping out a relentless hate stream of bad news. In a reply to one user, the billionaire said careless negativity, which he calls destruction, is much harder than thoughtful positivity, which to him is creation. In a string of tweets and replies to other posts, the Tesla Inc. CEO lamented that it was so hard to find out what's going on in the world without being bombarded with news that makes one sad and angry. The tweets came a few hours after Brett Winton, director of research at ARK Investment Management LLC, tweeted, It is deeply weird that the internet tried to bully, threaten, extort, and browbeat us into giving up on Tesla, the electric car pioneer that sold more than 936,000 cars last year, up 87% on 2020 figures. Musk replied, the insane tweet FUD campaign and press hate stream of 2017-2019 is still easily found, using the shorthand for fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Musk's anti-media tweets came just as Tesla said a California agency informed the electric automaker that it has grounds for a civil complaint following an investigation into racial harassment. Making a bad day worse, Tesla received another subpoena from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission about Musk's tweeting back in 2018 that he was considering taking the EV maker private. The CEO was particularly active in replying to other users in his Twitter tirade. In one exchange, he suggested that maybe part of why traditional media outlets are so negative is because old habits die hard. They so rarely even try to be positive that said censorship isn't the answer. In light of all of this, it wouldn't be the same dance if Musk buys his own media house. He will inject new rules, new strategies, and obviously, positive energy. In our upcoming videos, we will follow up on Musk's interest to bolster his business empire by adding a media company. So be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on what's hot and what's not.